Watching Brian do his thing. I've done a VIP room. If you're watching, I can see your chat. I need to hear some love. Tell me where you're watching from right now. I want to see that chat blow up. Tiffany, I love you too. I know I've actually heard you today. Miss Barbara Beckley, come on, I got to see you. I did W in Houston, Maine. Come on, guys. St. Lucia, watching it down to Bago, Columbus, South Africa, Michigan, Brooklyn. I got Georgia, Baton Rouge. All right. All right. Now I'm feeling some love because I need to feel that to want to give that. Wow, wow and wow, how blessed am I to be here? Let's see, I've been doing this every month since we started back in February of 2021, consistently getting love from you guys. I've created students, I've got 12,000 students now and a funny thing on the way to the forum was I got my doctorate, oh my gosh. And I have to show you guys something, here, 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 check this out. Not only did I become an honorary doctor, but check, can you guys see this? This is from the President of the United States, an Honorary Lifetime Achievement Award. Can you guys, yeah, throw the cup. Nobody was more shocked than I was. I found myself crying and just realizing that maybe my life did matter and amounted to more than I ever realized. So guys, this is from, I mean, seriously, I don't care what you think about his politics. How many presidents of the United States are there at any one time? There's one. <laughs> and I am just, thrilled as all get out to be here with you guys i've got about an hour to motivate you out of your mind to be your last speaker of the day i hope everybody sitting in the control room in south africa is just going she's here she's here she's bringing us some love wow and wow and i love hearing all this thank you i will tell you i worked a lifetime for this and one of my motivations now is i also had a 62nd birthday <clears throat> dang that's a big number right Oh God, I'm feeling a little bit of a, I felt the biological clock in my early forties when I had my kids and I'm feeling another little clock. And it's a clock that says that maybe we need to truly enjoy the life that we've got. We are so lucky and so blessed. I mean, seriously, if you've got a roof of your head, if you've got just the sensibility to love someone, to have them love you back, to have dreams, and that's what you're doing in this room. I have an ability to make people's dreams come true. And so I've done it really well in my life and I'll share some stories with you and answer some questions if you want. Yeah, 60 second, that's it, I know. You feel like 48, I'll tell you what, I remember a time when I thought looking 40 was old. Now I'm feel, I look 40, I'm feeling good. <laughs> but I was listening to my dear best friend, Mr. Les Brown talk. We all want to be here as long as we can. I know him and I have no desire to leave the party. And while we're here, let's have some fun, shall we? And, and I do that. I, I'm going to share with you in a minute about what I'm up to. And we have this thing, this notion that I've been doing with my family. I've got a 19-year-old daughter who's my business partner. And we simply call it, and write this down when you see it, GSD. Get shit done. Whether that's a book, whether it's a marriage proposal, whether it's an online course, whether it's building a house, taking a trip this summer, get shit done. I would like to see it in that chat, which I can see pretty clearly. What would you like to get done? What's in the back of your mind? What dream do you have that if you don't do it before you die, God's gonna be mad at you. You're gonna get to those pearly gates and he's gonna go, seriously? You said you wanted to get that done, but you didn't. What kept you from getting it done? Buy my grandparents' house, absolutely. Start my coaching business, hit my quota, graduate. Blow up my doll business and write a book. Deborah, I got you. Hazel, build that house. Come on, guys. Get you. That's a lot of house building, right? Start a nonprofit, get your BA. If I were God and I'm listening to you right now, if you're not typing, you're not gonna get what you want. I'm not kidding. Open an LBGTQ news center, love that. Build your business, finish your book. By the do your podcast, tell your story. Yes, yes, and yes. Then I would ask you, what is keeping you from your GSD? What is keeping you from getting your shit done? 
Is it a lack of belief in you? Is it a lack of understanding how to? Do you think you're not good enough? Oh, I see a TED talk going there. That's my next one too. Getting a doctorate, been there, done that. All right, I see all this now. I see you've all put your fingers on your keyboards because you realized if you could manifest it, if you could talk to God or whatever universal thing makes other things happen. You know, I always look at, at musicians and, and ball players. I want to thank God. Well, you know what? God was also looking at the losing team too. You don't have a monopoly on God. You do not have a monopoly on getting shit done. The difference between people who do it and don't is, you know what? You know what? It's you. It's you and your belief system. And the really cool part about this is it can be changed. It can be altered and uplifted and you can do it. And I'll tell you something else. You all who have that perfectionist syndrome, I'm not gonna do it till it's perfect. My ugly book is better than your no book. My course 1.0 is better than your course no point oh. My smaller house is better than your no. What are you doing to prevent you from being so amazing and so excellent? That's what I'm more curious about, Miss Marshall, whose last name is also Riley. It's a good name. So let me start this crazy little presentation here. And I'm clicking and nothing's happening. What am I doing wrong, guys? Oh, there it is. Look at that. Pin me. I see that. GSD with Forbes. Stop waiting and creating your life when? No, not tomorrow. No, not next year. Not when the moon swings. Not when I feel like it. Not when, now. Can y'all write the word now? Can I get 100 nows? Now. Not a joke. Do it now. Thank you, Portia. Now, now, and now, Richard. Now. You can lose the weight now. You can leave the abusive husband now. You can get your life started when? Not tomorrow, but now. Now is your time. And I feel it and I know it. I know it's my time. I feel it like I've never felt it before. I feel a sense of urgency. I look at that man that I just love so much, that Les Brown, whose voice is like butter, whose laugh makes me just I'm going to see him on June 4th. We're going to be in Atlanta together. We have a giant billboard with him and I. I'm so proud of my life. I'm part of this because I get to hang out with great people. I'll tell you what, it's been a beautiful life. If you're not living your best life, I'd ask why not. I didn't come from any money. I'm nothing special like Brian Wall said today. But I feel special when somebody like Les, and you can play that video, says, hey, Forbes, we got gotcha. you. One powerful, positive relationship can make a difference in your life. That's what Forbes Riley has done for me, for my business, for me personally. And I encourage you, as you look at your goals and dreams, make sure you align yourself with people that will challenge you, that will hold you accountable, and that will bring the best out of you. Forbes Riley is one of those kind of people. And when you're looking for a speaker that can transform your audience and create value so that they leave your presence feeling better about themselves, talking about you because of the impact that she brought. Forbes Riley, that's the one. I believe in her, and I can tell you, she will deliver for you. You have something special, you have greatness in you. Call Forbes Riley because she will bring that greatness out. That's my story, and I'm sticking to it. Oh, baby. Mm. You're welcome, baby. Don't make that big Mexico man hit me. Please. So what did Les just tell you? Less, and I do this to people when I coach them, I pass the torch to people and I, I ignite them. I say, you want to train with them. Les gave me that torch a decade ago, a couple of decades ago. And I've trained thousands of people. And as you're sitting here listening to me, and I've got things to tell you, and I'm going to teach you some stuff about how to get shit done right now. I'm not going to wait. But I do have a crazy offer at the end of this that I want you to be thinking about. I would love you to join me when? Not tomorrow, but now. I listened to some of the comments. I saw you looking at offers from people saying, oh, I can't afford that. I'll tell you what, guys. I spent my, a lot of my life, I come from no money, saying what I couldn't, couldn't afford. I want you to forever and for always take out your credit card whenever you can. Say there's more where that came from. What can I afford to miss? That is the most important thing that you can start to do. I kind of tell you, it'll change your life. And I love getting shit done. I We have a... As part of my training world that we do, we have a private Facebook group just devoted to real summits, get shit doneers. Get shit, I don't know if I said that before, get shit doneers. And I'll tell you what, there's a thousand people in there right now. We have gotten hundreds of books written, hundreds of things accomplished. And I love waking up in the morning 
and hearing success stories. And I'm hearing a lot of them. And at this age, in this part of my life, it is what I love doing the best. I love seeing how you do your life. And one of those secrets is to plan the attack and attack the plan. So many times when you are an entrepreneur, you just throw caution to the wind. Well, I'll just do whatever I do. If I get it done, I get it done. If I don't, most people said I couldn't do it anyway. Isn't that right? Write that down in the chat right now. Did anybody ever tell you what you can't do? Was it mom, a bully, an ex-husband, an ex-girlfriend, your daughter? Who knows? Did anybody ever tell you? Because I'd like to take those names. Yeah, take those names right now and we're going to burn them. Though naysayers are not interesting to me at all. They didn't know you. They didn't hear you. They didn't listen to you. They took their own shortcomings, their own sense of playing small and mushed it all over you. And the only thing I can blame you for is you listen. Can we stop listening? I don't want, I don't care about naysayers. Let ex-girlfriends talk about you. It doesn't matter. X for a reason. X get X out of here. You got me right now on your team. If you want me. You know, we had a VIP meeting today and we talked about how when you're in my world and you can join my Facebook group, it's free. But if you want to come train with me, oh, a little bit of investment, I guarantee will go a long way. And it's not only investment of money, money is nice and all, but an investment of time and energy. How much time do I have left on the planet? I don't want most of you. I don't, sorry. I don't want the people who are so mucked up in their mire and they don't want to play big. I want people who inspire me to hang out with me. And I'm going to find them by the end of this little talk here. You're going to stay and you're going to go, oh my God, I've never heard a woman talk like her. I've heard women play small, been put down, told they're not pretty enough, told they're not this. I've been told everything under the sun. And yet I chose not to give up. But the reason I get out of bed now, and Candace asked me this earlier, why do you do it? It's because you inspire me. And just like, just like Raffia said, I want you in my life. I need you in my life. I want to keep going, but only if I've got people to inspire and love on. I've got two beautiful children, a husband that I think the world begins and ends with. But you know what else I like? I like hearing from people like Lewis. Guys, can you play that tape? Hi, Lou here from the UK. Uh, GSD is inspirational, graceful, and creating the future. If would you refer this to someone else, what would you say? Absolutely. I've already referred two people even tonight. Wow. And I would do it every day. And that is the community that I've built. You want to talk about an inclusive, creative community? Do you know in my community, nobody looks like the other person? There is no black, white, purple, green, bro. Who cares? The people in my community have a big red heart. They have big pink brains and they follow direction and they give me back divine inspiration. And so let me ask you a question. How do you eat an elephant? Number one, don't eat elephants. They're, they don't taste good. But if you did, if you wanted to eat an elephant, a giant, beautiful elephant, how would you do it? Thank you one bite at a time. That is how I created GSD. One bite at a time, one step in front of another. And I'm going to teach you some of the principles today if you're ready. Are you ready to learn some tried and true principles? And I'm teaching today. I don't know if anybody taught today, but we're teaching. So get out that pad, get out that pen. Let's take some notes. Let's get started. So that would be me a couple of minutes ago, being held up a long time ago. That'll be 62 years ago by my dad. And let me know, did you love your dad? Did you have a good one? Not everybody does. I had one of the best and it wasn't, you know, it wasn't without shortcomings. Dad was a hard working guy. He was a dreamer. He was an inventor. He invented that printing press <clears throat> and he didn't graduate college. He was just a smart, hard working guy, but he had one big flaw. He thought if you worked hard, you got rewarded. The harder you work, he worked hard. He didn't really understand the work smart part. He just knew if you just worked hard and he gave us a, a nice life. It was a little financial life. That's okay. Don't blame him at all. He had so many ideas though. He didn't care about money. He just liked to invent things. He liked to dream big. And that's what he taught me. The problem though with that is that with all those thoughts in his head and he would build some of them in the garage, he couldn't get them out to the world. He didn't sell any of them. That was a little confusing to me. 
And some days his ideas were so crazy wacky. He had a half a garbage can and a lawnmower engine and some paper mache and made me a Batmobile go-kart when I was just four years old. We were the really odd kids on the block. Oh, there it is. There's my Batmobile. That would be me sitting in there as Catwoman. My little baby sister as Batgirl. Like I said, we didn't have a whole lot of money, but we had a lot of weird creativity. I've kept that going my whole life. Weird creativity. People say, Forbes, you're such an out-of-the-box thinker. And you know what my response is? I've never seen the box. I don't know what you're talking about. I've never had a box. I was a weird looking kid in school. People didn't want to talk. I just never had a box. Hmm. So my dad's garage was filled with ideas and creations and just, he loved everything he ever collected. Bit of a hoarder. And he couldn't wait to get the ideas out to the world. He said, kiddo, he put me on one of those, those wooden stools. He said, kiddo, how do I get my ideas out to the world? And I said, dad, I have no idea. I'm eight years old. But I will tell you that for about 20 years of my life, I took crazy inventors and I put them on infomercials and live home shopping. And I made millionaires because my dad didn't ever get to see that. No, he left the planet 23 years ago. And I think you can feel the sense of love that I have for that man. Jen, I know some of you feel it too. But there was a moment when I, when he was really sick, he got, I got a call. He says, your dad's not, he's got cancer. And we all took turns watching him. It happened so suddenly. I didn't plan for any of this. But everything in life teaches you lessons. Life happens for you, not to you. And nobody apparently gets out of this game alive. I didn't know that though. I didn't really believe, I didn't believe that he could die. Dads don't die. I want you to think about what you want to be doing in your life. So in the hospital bed, in the hospital room, I guess it was getting close and we all took turns spending the night with him. And it was my turn on January 9th. And in the middle of the night, the nurse wakes me up and she grabs my hand and she said, we're going to need you to call your mom and your sister. Your dad's dying. And at first I'm like, that's not possible. That's not happening, right? And she said, yeah. And at this point, he's hanging on pretty hard. You need to give him permission to die. And I thought, not doing that. No, 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 not doing that. I'm good. And she said, well, if you don't, he's going to suffer. So I sat next to his bed and I held his hand and I'm sure I said things I don't really remember, but I said, dad, I love you so much. And thank you for everything you've given me. I have lots of dreams and I'm going to go make them happen. And I'm going to give you permission to die so that you don't suffer and I'll see you soon. I learned a lot about that word to shortly after that, he sat up, took a deep breath, lied down and he was gone and he didn't suffer anymore. We did. All those dreams and all those hopes in the garage, sat in the garage, and I had to go home and uh, clean out the garage. <laughs> and I remember, I'm sorry. I just remember, why didn't he get them out there? Why didn't the world see his genius? Why was it over? And I'm going to tell you something, and I'm not joking. Please don't die with regrets. Please don't lie on your deathbed and go, wow, the things I wish I'd done. I, and I'm going to tell you, you're going to wish that you invested more time and energy and got things done. Not a joke. Not a joke. I do not want you to die with a garage full of dreams. I'm sorry. I don't know why I'm quite so emotional. I think it happens as you get older. I'll calm down in a second. I'll come back to my speech. I just want so much for you to understand that what you want to do in this life is accomplishable. You just can't stop and you can't let people tell you no. No for me means never ending understanding. Never no, I'm sorry. Mm, wow. Wow. Whew. Okay, here's the deal. Can I give you permission? I need to give myself permission to come back and, and, and be with you. I don't know why I got so emotional. Maybe it's just the time of the year. Maybe it's the time of the month. Who knows? But I want you to write this word down right now permission. 
And then I want you to write something else. I hereby grant you, the you is the you in the mirror. I want you to look in the mirror. So hereby I grant you permission to, and then put a blank line. I have done this and I am living an extraordinary life because I had to grant myself permission to be successful. I had to grant myself permission to stop playing small. I had to grant myself permission to make dreams come true when people said, Forbes, who are you? How could you do that? And I'm gonna give that gift to you. And it's a gift. And then I'm gonna say it takes a little bit of work. And I'll tell you, that's why I created GSD. Because it is about time. They made a whole movie about permission. You got four people there, right? One wants a heart, one wants a brain, one wants courage, one wants to go home. And I'll tell you what the Wizard of Oz did for them. He just gave them permission to let them believe and know that always had it inside of them. You always had that. You always had a heart and a courage and a dream. I hereby, Alicia, thank you. Linda, thank you. Carol Sue, I love you. You know I do. She's one of my students. I hereby grant you permission to be extraordinary. Oh my God. The great wizard just gave you permission to believe that you can do it. Huh. <laughs> How about permission to have your dreams come true? Come on. I know you're smiling. If you're smiling, we'd say yes, Miss Marshall and Shirley and Kelly, just say yes. Say yes that you're gonna go and you're gonna be in a great vacation with me. You're gonna be a New York Times bestseller if you want. You're gonna write the book and have the family and make the big house, whatever you want. I need you to understand that house that you're living in right now, wherever you are, that apartment, that car, wherever you happen to be, you created that. You gave yourself permission to dream small or dream big. And I'm going to demand that you take ownership of those dreams. And if you want a bright red convertible, go get it. You're going to work it backwards and figure out how to buy. I don't, it doesn't matter what you're dreaming. I don't judge dreams, but I'm going to tell you that you are enough. And I, a lot of people look up to me now. Isn't that crazy? They think I'm somebody. Well, if I am somebody, let's call me the wizard of Oz. I'm going to give you permission to believe, to believe that you are enough. Can I hear uh, someone's right now? Just write it. I am enough. I just want to read it over and over and over again. That's what you're going to get out of my talk today. I am enough. I may not be the thinnest or the richest or the prettiest or the who cares, but I am all that I am right now. I am enough. And when you are enough and you believe Miss Jen Ramsey and all my beautiful people, I see it. Can you feel that around the globe right now? People are screaming from their homes, from Alaska to Australia, to Austria, to South Africa, that I am enough. And when you are enough, you don't hurt other people because you don't need to. You don't take other people's dreams. You, you lift, lift other people. I am, I am loving this Iris. Oh, you know how much I love you. I am enough. I want you to go to bed tonight and say it. I'm enough. I will tell you, I don't want you looking in the mirror anymore, telling your body that, oh, it's not pretty, it's not this, it's not. I'm enough. I'm enough of a woman to stand among men, among giants in our industry. Damon, John, Deepak Chopra, Jack Canfield, Lesper. I'm enough to be there. It took everything I have to believe in myself because I didn't have a real champion. My champions passed away and I have to think about them in my head and rustle up that so that my dad and I can say I'm finally enough. Does this make sense? Thank you, Pat. I'm enough to write books. I'm enough to, I made 300 authors bestsellers through my One Habit book because I not only believe that I'm enough, but I look at you and I know you're enough. But sometimes you don't believe it. I didn't know that people would listen to me do these kind of talks. It took somebody like Les Brown to say, Forbes Riley, you get your butt out there. You have something to say. But you have something to say too, I know you do. And you may not need to be on a platform as big as this, this takes a lot of work. But you can write that book, do that podcast. You know you can. And are you right now going, maybe one or two of you, what? You know, who do you blame? If you blame your parents, my parents came from nothing. My mom was so small-minded. She was always 260 pounds my whole life. I could blame her all over the place, but I'm not choosing to. You might not have degrees. I've got two degrees and now I've got an honorary one. Who cares? I've never, I don't blame, your education is what you choose. With YouTube, you get as educated as you want. All the classes on this platform are affordable. Some of you, I saw you, I can't afford that. Yes, you can. Society tells me if I'm this color, that ties this 
I don't care about this. Society's not real. COVID-19, congratulations. Now we're all talking on Zoom. Write this one down. Life happens for you, not to you. Courage says she blames no one. God is falling in love with me. I love, you have no idea how much I love this. I am such a little girl inside. I am, see, I don't, a lot of my, my issues when I was younger is I kept proving to that my dad that I was enough. I wanted him to love me and I worked really hard. I got a lot of accolades. And you know what he told me one day when I called him? I said, dad, I took this self-help class and I'm going to tell you that I do everything I am because I want you to approve of me. And he said, kiddo, you're kidding me. I've loved you since the day you showed up. You don't have to do anything but be you. I said, I wish I'd known that. I could have saved a lot of heartache. But kiddo, you're enough. You always have been. You were the only one who didn't know it. Hmm. You don't think you have enough resources? Or maybe it's just in your head. Stop the blame. Stop the blame. Oh, my goodness. My goodness. I've been thinking about this, this speech all day. Just what I want to share in real time. I want you to talk to so my dreams. I'm going to share a couple of my dreams. That'd be okay. Yeah. And I know I needed to hear this right now too. And apparently I'm in tears. <laughs> Who knew, right? I'm like incredibly emotional. That is me with two seven pound babies in my belly at 42 years old. Who pushes out that? I mean, we're talking massive children. Number one, I was healthy enough because I ate really good food. It, my parents had both passed away. 9-11 happened and nine of my high school friends who were firemen all died in one day. Holy shit, really? You go to that memorial in New York and you read all my friends' names. They all worked in the firehouse, quarter mile worth of the World Trade Center. And I said, I need a baby. I need a reason to live. And God granted me two really big ones. That was the day before I gave birth. Look how your hand is this big, right? Look how big my belly was. 65 inches around. I'm only 65 inches tall. If I gained one more pound, I would have just fallen over. <laughs> I got a miracle. I got a little boy and a little girl. Now I had to trade my parents in. They both passed away before they met my babies, but I'm so proud of my beautiful babies. Oh, you have no idea. I needed them. And then they grew up and they became my angels. And so the story I'm telling you, isn't about me. It really isn't because I got to be mom to them. And I created two people who I'm pretty proud of. The girl on the right, her name is McKenna. She runs my company now at 19. They've heard me preach and teach my whole life. You're the first to, maybe you're meeting me for the first time. My son is a wicked smart guy who just 65 X his income in his crypto deals. I did good. I devoted so much time and energy. I'm a teacher at heart and I taught them well. So crazy thing, that's my mouth. That's me at about eight years old. Right before that, well, right after that photo, I got hit in the face with a baseball bat and I broke my nose. And now I've got this really weird mouth, right? Well, the orthodontist, I'm eight. I'm going to be a cute little girl, all right? I'm cute. Eight years old, he puts me in a full set of braces. And then this orthodontist from hell puts a tongue pressure in my mouth. And all of a sudden, I can't talk for two years. Wait, wait, wait. I got something. Don't go away. I got, okay, wait, I have this. My mother, you see that, that garage full of stuff? My parents were a bit of a hoarders. My mother loved to save things. You want to see something that hardly anybody sees? She saved the mold from my teeth. Can I come full screen, you guys? I want to share this with you. You're going to laugh or cry. I'm not sure which. But this is from 1968. Some of you were not even conceived of in 1968. That was my mouth. That's like a horror show. What kind of kid has that mouth, right? That was my birth name, by the way. Long story. We worked real hard to get a mouth that looked like my mother saved this. This is almost like 50 years old. Check that out. Like, right? Goes from this crazy thing to we have a perfect smile. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> and then I saved it so I could show it to you guys. Eight years, I had a full set of railroad tracks. I had headgear, I had the tongue stretcher in my mouth, and it was very hard to talk, so people couldn't hear me. Maybe that's why I can't stop talking now, right? Well, then I was a little overweight. Fast food had come out. We didn't have a lot of money. See that couch? You guys see that couch in the back? We always, my whole life, had that same green couch covered in plastic. Can anybody relate to that? It was challenging. And at this time, you want to talk about feeling special? I did not feel special. 
I did not feel like I fit in anywhere. I didn't want to talk to people. I was very smart, so I stuck my nose in my homework and I watched a lot of TV and movies. Hmm, okay. Life happens for you, not to you. Well, then my beautiful dad, the big man in my life, slips one day and he catches his hand in one of those rollers in the printing press. My mom and I get a phone call. Or stay in my life. Your dad's in the hospital. He's going to live, but he's going to need a lot of work. And for the next three years, he had 15 operations to rebuild his hand. And it was horrible to see the strong hero of my family. We had no other money except my dad. Three years, we didn't have an income. It was really hard. It was hard watching my mom be the hero for my dad. And then one day, my mom calls and she says, Babe, we have no money for college. We've got no money for anything. And I said, well, she said, but there's a beauty pageant that's happening that's giving away a scholarship. And she and I looked at each other and was like, yeah, that's not going to happen. And I'm like, thank you, mom. See, in those days, there was a standard of beauty that had cute little noses and blonde hair, and they just didn't look anything like me. Well, the funny thing is, and this is what I'm going to talk about, dream it, believe it, and achieve it. To dream it, it's like, wow, could you win a scholarship and a beauty pageant? That's so big. When you believe it, you start talking about your dreams to people. Well, my dad's doctor overheard my mom and I talking, and he turned to me and he said, we're going to fix her nose for free. We're going to gift you something. Now, this is what I'm going to tell you. The reason I'm telling you this is for those of you who put in the chat when somebody made an offer about a whatever it was today that you wanted to experience. And you said, oh, I can't afford that. No, 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 you have no idea what you can and cannot afford until you push the limit. And so we're talking about this and he gifted this. He said, I'll just fix your nose. Now that might not seem like a lot to you, but I woke up the next day, the bandages came off and I got cute. Not a joke. Look at my smile right here, it's upside down. And then my smile turned right side up. Could a nose make that much difference? Apparently it did. Because I looked in the mirror and this little girl looked back at me and said, I'm not sure I know who you are, but you're kind of cute. How about we enter this competition and see what we can do with our new nose? I know this sounds so silly, but I had no one to talk to back then. I'm making this all up in my head. And so I entered this beauty competition and in a hand-me-down bridesmaid's dress, but I wanted to win. I had a powerful Y and a really cute nose and a great smile. I'm like, guess what, guys? I need to win this thing. And I did. It's the craziest thing. First 10 years before that, I would have never thought. I was an ugly, goofy little kid and now I won a beauty title? Oh, come on. Then I got to college. There I am. Look at that. That's graduating college. Looking like I look pretty cute. There's my mom, 260 pounds my whole life. Sometimes you go towards your parents, sometimes you go away from parents. I love you mom so much, but I am never gonna look like you. I'm gonna make sure that I eat right or exercise or figure out something because I love you so much, but you have your own demons and I'm gonna change my life. And today, this is what I'm telling you. I don't care who the demon is in your life that said you can't. Forbes Riley is giving you permission to dream as big and as colorful and as crazy as you want right when? Right now! I wanted to, I look at my mom there. My mom's in her 40s right there. Guys, I'm 62. I wear the same size I did in high school. I made a decision that I wanted to live life a certain way. I wanted to be a movie star. I just did. You don't have to want that, but I wanted it. And I set out and I worked so hard. There are so many nights I cried into my pillow asking myself what I was doing. But I've been in lots of movies and lots of TV shows. In fact, if you guys get Amazon Prime right now, do you get Amazon Prime? Go tag out Farm to Fork to Love. It's just one of my many movies. I co-star in that movie and we shot it in the middle of the pandemic when the world was freaking out, but we did it. I'm very proud of that very proud that I get to be a little bit of a mini movie star. It's what I wanted. It's crazy, right? Who gets to do that? Anybody who wants to, who dreams it, who puts the work into it. 
This is not a joke. You want to live an extraordinary life. I was watching an interview with Tom Cruise. How he's got his new Top Gun. It took 36 years to come out. But that guy's a perfectionist. He's doing, he's living the dream. You know, he and I had the same manager when we started out. Kind of a small, fun world. Huh. How did Tom Cruise get to be Tom Cruise? He gave himself permission. Nobody else did. Come on, he's not the handsomest or the tallest. He just decided. So if you've ever had an idea, anyone's ever told you, who do you think you are? You can't do it. You're stupid. It's a dumb idea. No. You know what? Tell him, baloney. Forbes Riley's given me permission. <laughs> no. No means never ending what? Never ending opportunity. Come on. You give me a no, I'll tell you to go. No means what? Write this down. Never ending opportunity. By the way, I created this little fitness product. Oh man, I was told no all over the place. I was told to go home on national television. I was embarrassed, told me it would never work. And I'll tell you what, talk about living the dream. Guys, I have sold 2.2 million of my dream that nobody thought was going anywhere only because I gave myself permission. I could have, I could have, oh man, they could have shot this down so many times. Never give up has been my motto forever. The game is over when you decide it's over. And you don't know what a spingem is, man? Oh, check it out. Go watch my videos on YouTube. Running around is the reason that I have sexy arms and so do 2.2 million other people. If you've never heard about it, shame on me. I do a lot of home shopping, but I'll tell you what. Oh, Dion Joy, you got one, my girl. You're one of my students and I love you. Tracy's got one. If you, you know what? Spingem is the coolest thing ever. And I got to get some to Brian and the crew down in South Africa. You guys need to know what this is. You want to look sexy, be fit, change your state. You know how much energy I have? I don't drink coffee. Now, here's the crazy thing. I was told that this was not going to work. By who? I don't remember or care. But that's what they said to me. But I said, I have a dream. Belize, let's get you down in Belize. Do you know I could have given up? I should have given up when U.S. Customs came and knocked on my door and tried to whatever they did, trying to ruin my, it doesn't matter. I had so many reasons to give up, but I didn't. In fact, see that that's on home shopping in one day, one 24 hour day. I sold 55,340. What? When's the last time you sold 55,000 of something in 24 hours? You know what? Because I GSD would it and I got a check for $1.2 million for my efforts for one day. You want to study with me now? Want to hang out with me now? Want to know my secrets? I share everything. I talk about everything. I'm very transparent. I have recently been crowned the queen. <laughs> Not really. That's a photo. But I am the queen of pitch. I am the queen of sales. I'm the queen of infomercials. You know what? I'm the queen of my own kingdom. But I've done a lot. And now I'm turning around and helping you guys do what you want to do. And this is not a joke. And by the way, this event is free. If you want to share this with somebody else, I got a crazy thing coming up. Here's what I want to share with you. Write this word down. It's my name. What have you Forbes lately? See, to Forbes something means to manifest it, especially when no one else thinks it's possible. Come on, write down. What have you Forbes with? Come on. What have you Forbes lately? I got Jen Ramsey right there from Australia. I have over 12,000 people, but I know Jen. And I know a bunch of the people on here. I know my students. I love what I do. Come play with me. All right. That's how easy this is. But it comes down to what is it that you want? You guys filled out a lot of things when you said, you want to, I know meeting you is something I would love to do. Don't be like my dad. Hard work just means hard work. You can work really hard and still never have any of your dreams come true. Ooh. All right. I've got just a short amount of time left. Here's what I want you to do. I want you to get out a pen and paper and let's learn how to GSD. Get shit done. And I'm going to go pretty quickly. Because you've got dreams and things in your head, but if they stay in your head, they don't get out to the world. Do not be my dad. I love my dad. Don't be my dad. Okay? So I'm going to teach you my five quick principles to getting it done. It's a process. This is what I teach in my trainings. And then I'm going to show you how I'm going to gift you something you can't even imagine. Do not leave. I got a thousand dollar gift for you guys if you stay till the end of this. Get shit done is a process that allows you to take any idea, chunk it down. How do you eat an elephant? One bite at a time. Make it manageable into bite-sized pieces, okay? You ready? Now, why GSD? Because it puts the pieces together, the pieces of your life, the things in your head that you say you want but you're not doing. I'm going to get them done. Can you imagine getting your things done? This is crazy. Audrey, I'm, I'm loving you. I'm loving you right now. I'm loving the comments. I'm loving the energy. Let's listen to Michelle about what it means to really get shit done.
GSD is the most phenomenal business platform where not only can you have the foundation to create your business, you are with a group of people that love you. And I know that now that my business will be sustainable so that I can help those and really live out my purpose. That's what GSD is all about. That is what it's all about. You got this. This was a gift. You guys can come full screen for a second. This was a gift from my photographer who took the picture. She bought into it. She's like, Forbes Riley, I hereby grant you permission. This sits on my desk. I'm going to grant you permission to be successful, permission to be beautiful, permission to believe that you're enough, and permission to get shit what? Get shit done! Sorry, I just had to wake you up. Somebody was sleeping out there. All right, here we go. And everybody in the control room was like, why does she yell so loud? All right, are you ready to hear the philosophy that I've used to start my mega, mega multi-million dollar career? I own businesses. I own buildings. I own live in an amazing home. I own a TV studio. How did I do it? I GSD'd it, okay? Okay, so let's get, this is my five step. And this is where I get to teach you. I'm totally going to teach you right now. And then at the end of this, yes, I'm going to invite you. If you want to implement it, then you come play with me. And you get to bring a friend for free. So if you've got somebody in mind, I want you to think about who would I invite who wants to get shit done, who's complaining, who's on the phone all the time, going, I'm just going to complain. Number one, we start with mindset. It is the key to everything. How you think and how you believe. Whether you believe you can or you can't, I'm going to prove to you, you're right. Whether you believe that you can or you can't, you're right. So we're going to talk about this word about having faith. Faith is, is walking when you don't, can't even see. You believe that you're enough. You believe that you've got an idea. We plan the attack and we what? We attack the plan. Absolutely. And yeah, you know what? You do need me in South Africa because I'm a light bulb. If you've got blackouts, I will shine the way. This is not a joke. I have always walked by faith and not sight. You get to, when you have a dream, you write the vision, you make it plain. So he who reads it will run to it. That is scripture from the Bible. I didn't make this stuff up. This has always been true. You just forgot. Wait for it, for it will surely come when you write the vision. I'm talking about faith. And faith in whatever above, but faith in you. That you have the power and you are enough to make it happen. You are the key. It's your vision, you guys. Otherwise, it doesn't happen. Elon Musk and Jeff Bezos, the two richest men in the world, billion, multi-billionaires, are self-made men who had a dream. Jeff Bezos is no different than you and I. He started in a garage and he had the stupidest idea. He was going to sell books online. Well, books are heavy and it's hard to ship them. That's a stupid idea, richest man in the world. He had a big vision though. He really did. And he had a way to articulate it. Mm, you got to write this down. You got to be creative. So many of you have stopped writing with a pen. It's not a text. It's not a little, the act of writing. I teach this in my training, how to write and then how to take that writing into what's called a Google doc and the way we organize it. Oh my God. The way we have team members around the world work on one project at the same time. And then I ask how many of you do have a project management system? So many of you say, no, you don't have a business. You have a hobby. You have the plan and I'm work. I'm happy to work with you because a lot of you don't get it right away. By the way, that's my beautiful husband. That's Joshua self S E L F. Give him a like on Instagram. He's the sweetest, most supportive man in the world. We got a first class tickets to Dubai last year. So I could speak and teach. We're standing in front of that giant tower. That's called the Burj Khalifa, the tallest building in the world. Most people look up and say, wow, Forbes Riley and her followers look down and say, wow, what is the foundation of that building? What is the mechanics that make that thing stand so tall? That is GSD. Too many of you as entrepreneurs do not build a solid foundation. And without it, your business crumbles, it falls apart, you're not inspiring to people, and you don't grow. I spent a lot of time at the Burj Khalifa Museum looking at the process and the way they created this unbelievable foundation for the tallest structure on this planet that has to withstand everything. So I'm going to ask you, what's your foundation? What's your education? Do you have a mentor that's as crazy and as passionate as I am in your corner? And by the way, if you can afford the time and the energy, I would, I would ascribe to a lot of people on this summit. They're damn smart. I bought their courses. So I'm not saying to choose me or them, 
but I'm definitely saying you want to add me as one of your key ingredients because just like the flour and the eggs and the butter, none of them is better than the other, but without that, your cake tastes terrible. Am I right? Most entrepreneurs, if they were architects, that's what kind of houses they'd live in. They crumble. They'd be living in tents. You know what I'm talking about. The difference between Jeff Bezos and the rest of the world is plan, is passion, is consistency, is having great mentors, right? Number two, the quality of your research will determine your outcome. I so often ask how people go, Forbes, I don't know how to do this. Well, in my world, you're not allowed to say IDK. That's I don't know. Because to that, and write this down right now. I want you to write down this word. Everybody write it. G, write it down. G, O, write it down. G, O, O, write it down. G, O, O, G, L, E. It's Google. Freaking Google it. You have no idea the access to stuff that you have. Please don't tell me you don't know how to do something. Go to YouTube. You can do anything in YouTube. You now can go online and find everything. I am practical. I'm practically smart, practically, guys, I've grossed two and a half billion dollars in my life. And you saw where I came from. That's why I showed that. Am I anything special? Yeah, I'm just as special as you are. But I'm a hard worker. Next thing I want you to understand, your competition is the framework of where you want to be. Too many baby entrepreneurs going, I have no competition. Yes, you do. Every, everybody's got competition. And when you understand it, you can leverage it. Leverage is one of my all time favorite freaking words. You think your customer will, I mean, there's a search phrase. You can go into Google and find exactly what your competition is doing. In fact, here's a free resource. Write this down. Similarweb.com. What are the people that you're doing already doing? And then you're going to do it differently. You're going to do it in your unique style. But now that you know what they're doing, Burger King watched what McDonald's were doing and did it different, but took all their systems. Didn't have to create the wheel. They already did that. And I'll tell you something else you want to do. If you admire me or Peter Sage or Darren Winters, I know everybody on this, I love all our people. Paul Mahoney, they're great people. Buy their program and then study how they do it. How did Forbes put that presentation together? How does she do what she does? What are the email sequences? How does she reach out? Why is she so successful? If I could figure that out, because you don't need to create the wheel. You need to improve the wheel. You need to customize the wheel. So it's your wheel, but it's still a wheel, isn't it? No, oh, yeah, it's still a wheel. Is my volume too low? Is somebody saying my volume is low? I don't know if I can scream any louder. All right, here we keep going. Strategy, love this word. Research, leverage, and strategy. Oh, it's just a great word. What does it mean? It's how you move yourself around the board of life. Do you have accountability and consequences put into your systems? Do you know how to spot an excuse and exit out? Man, I listen to people every day. I mean, I coach so many people. And if I could just truly grab them by their throat and say, knock it off. Stop playing the record player of your parents, of your bullies, of people who didn't like you in your head and own your space. I'll tell you what, it will change everything. Number five, we're going to take some action. This is the other thing you guys do. You buy a class, you buy a course, and then you won't take action. You know what? I'm going to take a quick second here. Will you do me a favor? Will you come full screen? I want you to introduce somebody who's Come here, come sit here for a second. Hello. This is my, come here, sit one second. This is my baby girl. You can sit on my lap. This is my baby McKenna. Now, we haven't gotten up to what GSD is, but you tell me, nice and loud, why is learning to GSD so important? If you're ready to actually start making money, learn how to get shit done, <laughs> and that's all we are as entrepreneurs. We're glorified problem solvers. So when you understand that, you understand how to get things done your dreams and everything you want will become reality. And that's exactly what happened for us. We have a lot of students in GSD. What do you think about them? I think that we have a multiple Amazon bestsellers. We've got a girl going for a New York bestseller. We've got plenty of people with lead max now, lead magnets, understanding how to draw attention to what they're doing and collect emails and the power of it, creating courses and actually becoming the coach that they wanted to be and making sales online and building funnels and putting together email sequences and then best of all hiring people to help run them with everything so it's been incredible because you actually I've been able to watch entrepreneurs who've been trying to do this forever invested tens of thousand dollars for a nominal investment be able to actually GSD their business and start to actually get shit done and move the move it forward instead of just 
I want to write a book. I want to do a course. They actually are doing it. So in the world of GSD, how old are you? I am a whopping 19 years old. A whopping 19 years old. How much money did our company make last year? So we have a seven figure coaching business. And that's, that's over a million dollars. And how old are you? And 19. Yeah, I know. She does the front end. I do the back end. And, the, and I say my superpower is getting shit done. And I shared all the formulas that I use with this woman to get shit done with you guys. And I love you. I love you too. Okay. That would be McKenna. You'll meet her in our GSD world. I'm glad that she had a chance just to pop in. But she runs a multi-million dollar company that she started last year. You guys want to get shit done? It's not a joke. We live in this space. And all my students who are here and I see Jen and a whole bunch of other people floating by, what does it take for you to be a part of GSD? Hang on about 10 more minutes. Well, actually, you know what? You don't need to wait. There is no joke about how much it is. It's $197. It's a $6,200 value. And you bring a friend for free and you get into my mastermind for free. Go to realsummits.com slash FR and you are in. And in fact, I'll tell you what, I'm not up to that part of it yet. But if my team would write that in there, realsummits.com slash FR, if you're one of the first 10 people to join, I'm going to give you a special bonus. Okay, I'm going to give you a special bonus of a little extra time with me one-on-one. -on -one. I'm going to do something absolutely crazy. I wasn't planning on doing that, but I know exactly who signs up first. So hang on. I know, rank 197. Seriously, for some of you who that's a lot of money, we got to talk. I got a 19-year-old who on her own, we created this. No, I didn't, have, I didn't give her anything because I said the most important thing that you're going to write is the story of your life of how you did this. She actually wrote down when she was 12, who was studying digital marketing. And she said, mom, by the 18th birthday, I'm going to be a millionaire. And I said, God bless you, girl, go for it. Nothing's stopping you. And then she did a little GoFundMe and made her first $10,000 online by herself using one of my systems. And I know she was hooked. And nothing breaks that little girl's heart more than seeing us as adults not getting it done. Come on, do we get to be a role model for the next generation? So we got research, we got leverage, we got strategy, we got mindset, and now you got to take action. And I, I, I listened to JT Fox earlier say, want to make a decision, go five, four, three, two, one, boom, take action. Too many of you who sit around and wait, you're going to be waiting the rest of your life. You can wait with my dad in the graveyard. You're going to wait the whole rest of your eternity. I don't want you to do that. I want you to cross the finish line. Finishing is happiness and GSD is the best way to live your life. And it is a philosophy. It is a program that we do. It is a step-by-step -step system. And I'm going to race through this because I've only got 15 minutes left. Finishing is happiness. Not a joke. I want you to live your best life, okay? But the truth is, and the solution is this, you got to GSD it. You want to make these dreams come true? It, you will live a glorious life when you get things done. It's not going to be perfect. Oh, no, it's not going to be perfect. No. But don't, don't let the perfect ruin the good. My ugly book is better than your what? Your no book. My course that I just got out can be improved later, but it's out. And I'm going to show you some of my GSD success stories. All right, this is Miss Mel Mason. Mel comes to me. I have people, so many people come to me. She wants to be the declutter queen star. And I said, you need a new picture. She said, oh, no, I'm not. I don't like makeup. I said, no, Mel, you need to understand. I come from a world of television and media. I send it to an amazing photo photographer I know in LA, in LA and look at the difference in this beautiful girl. Not a whole lot of makeup, but we had her find her style. Then I said to her, you need to write a book. You're going to GSD a book. And she did her own book called Freedom from Clutter. GSD it in seven weeks. That book, those photos got her a national talk show. Thank you very much, Mel. She's one of the top rated podcasts on decluttering. She's exactly what she thought she was going to be. GSD. All right, let me keep going here with success stories. I have hundreds of them. I started a book here. I put in a hundred authors. I said, you guys are going to become best-selling authors. In less than two months, they were. Second book we did in just 18 days. 18 days? Who, do, who does? Nobody does 18 days. We did. We GSD'd it. This is what I'm telling you. And you know who else is on my GSD team? A lot of people in Real Summits here. How about the one and only Sharon Lecter? She GSD it with us. I got the guy who created Ugg Boots to GSD that with us. I got a Rolodex. You want to meet people? Woo! All the way from down under, there is the famous Hercules, Mr. Kevin Sorbo. And drum roll, please. Who would GSD it with us? Who wanted to be an author again? Oh, the one and only Les Brown. I have some really good friends. You know why? When you're on a boat that's going in the right direction, everybody wants to get on it. I want you to be on my boat. Not a joke. Miss Cynthia, what are you going to say?
But I can just say, and and this is an overall, McKenna and Forbes, you teach me to think differently. You teach me to th- you teach me to deliver a high level modern product. You teach me to, I, you teach me, I get breakthrough ideas and you teach me to, you you teach me to deliver differently, to act differently, new tools that I didn't know about, things that I would otherwise be afraid of. I'm not as afraid of, and I feel very efficient. So while my book is still marinating in my brain, um, I, I feel like with these tools you've taught, I can take everything and move forward down this one lane. So I, I definitely thank you for all the Trello, the designer, the Google Docs um, from a strategic, I feel like I'm learning how to work 20 years younger. And that is really important. And I do not think we take payment plans on this. I'm gonna tell you what, do what I did when I had my first opportunity like this. I asked a friend for a loan. I guarantee with the hard work, you will make that back. You will make your first sales. Find someone to believe in you and say, look, this is the deal. It's 197. I I got it in my bones to do this. Please loan me the money. I'll tell you why. Success story after success story, you guys. McKenna, we've got hundreds and hundreds of authors now. And it's not, it's more than that. It's more than that. Not just writing. It's got more to do to GSD. Little Jennifer here has got her music career going because she GSD'd it. This is a philosophy and a way to generate money. I'm going to teach you. There's Albert Corey. His business is freaking booming. He's in the tax world. GSD. Just think about that. I used to teach GSD around the world. The principles of this, and now you don't have to fly anywhere, the comfort of your own home, and I'm going to be your teacher. McKenna's going to give you some wisdom, and here's how it works. One, you get to do what you love. That's a really part of a millionaire mindset. You need to learn to earn. Not a joke. If I'm inspiring to you, this is a no-brainer. A no-brainer investment. Not even, and if you don't want to, like I said, I'm not for everybody, only for those who want to succeed. And then the master of the art of not trading your time for money. I'm going to show you why this is so important. And my clock is ticking down, so I'm going to go fast. I want you to live your dream. Mine was to speak in front of tens of thousands of people, and I'm doing that. On June 17th at 10 a.m., if you want me to be your coach for three hours, how much do you think I would charge you per hour? Yeah, close to about $5,000 an hour. I'm very expensive when I do privates. I don't even want to do them anymore because I don't have enough time on this planet. But I'm going to tell you, as part of GSD, you're going to get me as a three-hour intensive. But wait, what if I said three hours is not enough? What if I did it on June 17th and then I do it again so I can follow up with you because accountability is king. If Forbes Rowdy is queen, accountability is king. On July 29th, we're getting back. So you can say, Forbes, I have these questions. I want to run this by you. So now I'm not giving you three hours. I'm going to give you entire six hours, which when you add it up is about $6,200 worth of my time. You didn't do that, really? Are you doing that all for what? For how much? For one ninety-seven. I get six hours of your time, Forbes Rowdy? where I'm on a Zoom call and I get to talk to you and ask other people. I meet, I know the people in my classes. I just do it. I've got hundreds and hundreds of people in classes, but I have a crazy photographic memory. So it's not just the three hours with me. We did that before. And before we used to charge a lot. Now we don't do three hours. You know why? Because you need it. I do the three hours and then we do three hours of a follow-up live, 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 $32 value. Huh, not bad. But what if I said it got even better? Because you'd either easily pay a thousand or 500. That's a joke. I'm just going to give it to you for 197. And if you think that that's money, let me show you that it's not. Let me show you that that is not money, guys. And if it's hard for you, we're going to work on this. Okay. So here we go. I'm going to give you the craziest bonus in the world, but only if I see 15 bonuses in the in the chat right now. 15 bonuses. I got one. Come on, write the word bonus because bonus is good, and I'm not going to charge you any more for thousands of dollars of bonuses right now. I have one bonus. Bonus, 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 bonus. Okay, here we go. Bonus number one, bonus number one, that girl that you just met, which I think is priceless to hang out with her. She helped create a million dollar business for me. You're going to get to not only meet her, but work with her. She's part, she is the creator of the program that you're going to get because she's going to teach you about digital real estate. I'm going to show you to make all your money back. Not a joke. You're going to make all your money back with a zero on it. She already owns two businesses, has grossed a million point two in the past 13 months. She has 11 employees around the world. She's a two-time best-selling author. She's 19. Maybe it was having me as her mother. That is my daughter and my son. They're twins. He is in business. He's an NFT expert. He is genius. And I just lost my connection from my clicker. Let's see if that works. Does that work? Yeah, it goes. It works. You guys are silly. All right. Oh, wait. Let's listen to Jeff. 
Oh, uh, hey, Ford. First of all, thank you and McKenna for just laying it out. I mean, I, just on fire as always, always. And GSD for me is simply the real life yellow brick road. It's the only road to follow for me to get to where I need to be. Cut out all the other crap, focus on that, and listen to my people. I love that. Sally, don't worry. You The $197 that you paid, everybody who's paid, I see all you guys. I can see live time you signing up. If you say you're signed up, I got you. You get all the bonuses. Believe me, you will get everything from $197. I'm just going to keep showing you more. You're going to be blown away. What do I got next? Oh, okay. You want to hear the queen? If you want to make three, five, ten, a hundred times your money back. GSD is where you want to go. Adriana, it's all you. Okay. Wow. Forbes, McKenna, I've taken a lot of courses. And I just got to tell you, wow. The authentic, powerful, loving way in which you all take care of the people that you are here to serve. You all exhibit servant leadership so well. You under promise and over deliver and do it at such a cost effective way that you are truly here to shift the energy in the world and the planet, okay? Because you make it possible for anybody to uh, take advantage of what it is that you offer and you don't tease people what you offer you give the whole whatever they need and more like i've taken so many courses and people promise so much and they give so little and they charge a lot i mean you could charge so much for this so much more for this course and truly you uh, chose not to do that my heart for thanks to you um yeah the world continues to be a better place because you and mckenna the, the dynamic duel uh, have decided to um, just love on people, God's children, and for us all to be um, our best selves and give our best selves on this planet. I thank you. I love you. I appreciate you. I truly do. Uh, I'm just ready to shout your name to the rooftops because, like, wow, thank you. If you could be part of that world, I see how many people have signed up, and I'll tell you that number is not big enough. There's a couple of you sitting there going, Okay, I heard it. I'm going to go back to whatever I was doing. And that's okay. Because I only want people who want to move. But what if I said to you, I'm going to make the offer even better? Not a joke. I want to, And everybody who signs up, you get everything I'm talking about. If you were the first 10 to sign up, I got you. If you're the next 10 to sign up, I got you for something else. I, I'm crazy. You heard what Adriana says. We freaking over deliver. I like being Santa. You get things that you didn't even realize. But I want to see a lot of yeses right now. You want me to make the offer better? Yes, you signed up. What else would you like? I told you if you stayed to the end, there'd be a $1,000 bonus for people who signed up today. Well, GSD is designed to generate wealth. Let's get started with what you're going to get and what you're going to do. You don't need, for those of you who signed up, congratulations. You don't even realize how wonderful this is. For those of you yet to sign up, go get your credit card right now because I'm going to show you what you're going to get in addition to my time, in addition to the philosophy. You're going to get actual courses. I'm going to give you $1,000 worth of courses, and then I'm going to give you another $1,000 bonus if you all say yes. All right, I only got a couple of you saying yes. I guess I got some people out there who just do not want to be successful, like listening to me, but didn't really say, hmm, I'm in. That's okay. I'm here if you want me, because I'm going to show you right now how to turn this computer that you're watching into a cash machine. All right, here we go. Some of you are trading your time for money, and that's a big no-no, because you only got so much time on the planet. My favorite thing to do is to wake up in the morning and see dollar signs in my computer, how much money got put in my bank, because I've got digital real estate. I want you to have digital real estate, okay? Better than, better than practical real estate, because I'll tell you what, it's easier. Because what if you could, think about this please, leverage what you already know. You all have an expertise. Leverage what you already do. You could make money from that and I'll bet you no one showed you how. Kieran, you do not need to find the money. You need to find the belief in yourself and the money will come. Guys, I didn't have any money, so you can plead poverty all you want. I know what it's like to be broke, I also always got what I wanted because I didn't have any excuses. Hey, dear friend, I'll stand on the corner out there. You can sign up a little bit later if you need to, but I'm going to tell you within 24 hours, that's the bonuses, the best bonuses I'm going to give. Oh, but it's hard for me. We got COVID and I don't feel like doing it. Please do not sign up if you are a procrastinator and you don't want to stop being a procrastinator. I don't have that much time in my life. I want winners. I want winners who believe they're winners. And I'll tell you what, what are we applying GS2? Here's what we're applying our GS2 
D principles too. The first big bonus is I'm going to show you how to build a digital real estate. If you ever played Monopoly, the more real estate you have, the more you win, right? Okay. The really simple steps. We take the idea of getting a little ebook, turning it into a lead magnet. And if you don't know what that is, that's okay. That's how people come to you for free. Guys, I built a several million dollar business. I've never bought a Facebook ad. And to date, I don't even have a website. I don't even have a website. I don't need one. I haven't spent stupid money. Everybody wanted to charge me five grand for a website. I said, I'm not doing that. I don't need a website, but how can you do it? I don't listen to other people, guys. It's not a joke. I don't know where the box is, but I'll tell you what, I know where the cash register is. I'm talking to you on it. And I do believe that in your quiver of arrows of all the things that you need and to know, everybody first got to get their mind right. You got to understand how to leverage an ebook of some sort. I don't care if it's a one page PDF. And then I'm going to teach you how to make money with this crazy online course world. Oh my gosh, you have no idea. The internet has changed everything. It has literally turned your computer and your knowledge into a cash machine. Well, but Forbes, what can an ebook do for me? Oh my God, it can attract people to you. I'll tell you that little book that I created. That first one's got about 22 pages in it. My first little ebook. It's only this big. It was for $7. I sold 5,000 of them by getting and talking about it all the time. And for my first little tiny investment, I made $35,000. For Kieran, who said, I can't find the money, the money's right there in your ebook. You pay that person back, I guarantee it. The second bonus that I want to talk to you about is today, you couldn't build online courses when I was growing up. We had to do them all in person. By the way, when you go to buy, if you just want to buy it on its own, my just, my GSD and ebook course is $497. But Forbes, you only charge just $197. I know it gets better. You get lifetime access to this for free. Once you own it, you can apply this as many times as you want. So GSD and ebook. Oh my God. It is a step-by-step -step actionable training program. I can get you to write your little book in as little as two weeks. I can do it technically in two hours, but I don't want to get greedy here. Listen to what Riker Riley has to say. He's my son. Oh, um, GSD is a solution. Um, there you have the excuse. Can I do this? I can't do this. It doesn't matter. GSD is step by step. I can do whatever I want. If you have a dream, this is the pathway. And all you have to do is walk the walk. And I'm um, Kieran. I'm going to see you in class. Kieran just said, I because I'm watching you guys said, okay, 24 hours. I'll be there. I'm going to tell you the act of getting this and being, you're going to make your money back. You're going to tell the person to give them double your money back when you're successful. Bonus number four is you're going to get my GSD, how to build an online course. We also sell this for 497. You get that lifetime access completely for free. Now you've got a thousand dollars worth of classes that I sell all the time for 197 plus me for six hours. This is insane, but wait, I got more and I've only got five minutes left to do this. What else can GSD? It can turn your knowledge into money. I'm going to show you some of the online courses. Guys, this is my son's course. That's why he's so successful. He made $718,000 last year. He's also 19. It was an NFT course. Oh my God. Mom, those are real numbers. Yeah, today he made $3,000. These are really, and you want to look at my bank account. Not a joke. I want you to see what we have created. This is a miracle thing. Victoria, also hands down to this woman. So GSD to me is a creative ticket to success and financial freedom. I love the fact that um, you guys explain everything step by step. My biggest problem is being able to organize and get things on the computer. And the system is amazing. GSD it. I'm going to tell you guys, I'm giving you a kitchen sink and more. I'm going to show you that you don't trade your time for money. Because here's the thing. Let's say you're a massage therapist. You work eight hours a day, right? or any other job. Maybe you make $50 an hour, which is a crazy amount. That means you can only make $2,000 a week. So here's the problem with that. You got this job, right? This eight hour a day, maybe you make $15 an hour. Now you make $600 a week. You made 30,000 for an entire year. What? You guys want to be millionaires, but you'll never get higher than 50,000 or $100,000 a year. Well, that doesn't work for me. All right. I'm going to skip through my testimonials guys, because I'm running down to three minutes and I want to get to the good stuff. So I'm going to pass by I've got testimonials all day long. You can go on YouTube and tell people unbelievable. I love it. I love it. I love it. Wait, I want to listen to this one woman. Can you guys pull her up? Because this is why we do what we do. If you're sitting there and you haven't figured out your life, I don't know if we can play her. 
if we can, you guys you know, can pop second, it in. Everyone else is saying that this is the first time I paid for a course and I actually got some shit done. Not just hearing a bunch of talking and a bunch of references and things that notes that I need to go read and things I need to go research. I actually have some done. Like I have something I can give to somebody, use for something. And I'm looking forward for you to do the um, the phones oh, because that's the next thing that I need to learn, McKenna. I got all these yeah, little yeah, pieces, yeah, yeah. but I don't really know how to connect them and make the dots work. So I'm looking forward to the next thing that you take us through. I'm excited. I think that you're an awesome teacher. Awesome, 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 awesome. Thank you. All right, so this is what GSD is all about, you guys. You're gonna take a course that you sell for $15.99. Let's say you like to grow vegetables. If you sell 2,000 like one of our students did, that's $44,000 from a vegetable course. This is, I'm not kidding. I don't care what kind of idea you've got, I'm gonna teach you. Maybe you don't even know what NLP is. We got a course here for $18.99 that grows $608,000. If these numbers are blowing you away, good, good. I want you to go, wait. This is a free, that's a free gift. I will give that to you later, how you get to Harrow. This is a guy who sold 23,000 of his course also on how to write and publish stories, made $1.7 million from a little tiny course that he wrote for $18.99. Do you have a little idea in your head that will let me turn your idea into a million dollars? Now, if you look at this whole bundle, you're gonna get the mindset, the ebook, the online course, you get everything for $197. But here's the big bonus. I'm inviting you to my mastermind every Wednesday for a year. This is the thousand dollar bonus. Come hang with me and 1200 of my closest friends. Every Wednesday night, we create miracles. We tell stories, we have celebrities, we give away prizes. We are the coolest group of people you've ever seen. You get to come, I sell a mastermind for $997, just that alone. For this investment, you get to come completely for free for an entire year. If it gets better than this, you let me know. Oh, wait, you get to be part of our Facebook group so we can see how well you're doing. Share stories, get accountability partners, all of my people. We've had hundreds of books published. We've had hundreds of courses making thousands of dollars. I mean, this is completely off the chart. And my last crazy, crazy bonus for you, call a friend right now and say, hey, I want you, you're my friend. I got a free offer for you. So Kieran, maybe you can split it with your friend. I know, accountability, consequences, GSD partners, call them because finishing is happiness and getting to bring a friend to free. Oh my gosh, the numbers just went crazy. All right, I don't, you know what? How many people can we put in class? If you're not here, I go, what are you doing? You're gonna get my GSD courses. You're gonna get an ebook, an online course, six hours of coaching. You get McKenna, you get lifetime access. You bring a friend for free, you get master. Oh my God, all of that for $197? Guys, please do not, if you sat with me this long and you have not pulled the trigger, what else do I need to do to help you get your best life? I'll give you 30 day money back, guarantee you don't love it. All right, I'll give you your money back. What else can I do right now? There's hundreds of you on the line. If you've not said yes to this, I gotta ask you, what are you doing? Do you know, did you listen to the stories that I said today? That you're gonna get so much, you're just gonna get lots of love, I don't need to go through all this again. There is such crazy value here. Bring a friend, go call your friend right now and say, I've been listening to Forbes Riley. I'm inspired out of my mind and she is ready for me to up-level my life with a training and a bonus and a mastermind and accountability partner. Wow, what a phenomenal time this has been. Judy is just gonna tell you it's the best $197 she ever spent. When you go to the page right now and I see a whole bunch more of you just said yes, I would love all of you to say yes. And thank you, thank you, thank you. All of those things you'll find when you go visit the website because who are you gonna get to be in 2022, 2023? Because at some point you're gonna be at your memorial. It will be the last day of your life. And I just wanna ask you before we end today, what does it matter to you? Do you wanna leave a little bit of a legacy? Do you wanna know that you amount to more? because I'll tell you what, and I'm gonna wrap up in about 30 seconds here. My dad didn't. He died with all of his dreams in the garage and all of them went to some yard sale. How about we do one more little exercise for luck? I know Candace is gonna plug her ears because it's coming. My dad reminded me that's my first day on the planet or very young and that was his last. You live the dash between the time you're born and the time you die. 
take some risks and I would like you to pretend. What would you do if you knew you couldn't fail? What would you do if you knew you couldn't fail? Well, my first thought is that you go to right now to realsummits.com slash FR and hang out with us. But I want you to take that one dream. What's one dream right now? I got one dream that I wrote down here. I'm not going to show it to you. It's on this piece of paper. It's somebody that I want to meet. I've yet to meet. Take your dream. Imagine what it is. Put it next to your heart. And for those of you who know me, you know what's coming. For those of you who don't, just hang on. Because in a second, I'm going to tell you to yell the word jump. You know why? On my dad's last day on this planet, he grabbed his IV and we took a little walk around his hospital room. And there was a bunch of construction. And we were talking, I couldn't, I'm going to not cry. I couldn't believe, and I would never have known that this was the last day on the planet. And he said to me, kiddo, he said, you have this knack. You jump, you've traveled the world, you've taken risks. I've watched you. I played a small game, but I'm proud of you. I would love you to be that for other people, that inspiration. It's why I'm here right now, guys. I could be doing anything else, but I want to be here for you. You take your dream. My dad put his IV on the side of the, uh, on the other side of a bunch of cords. They were doing some construction that day. And he said, I'm going to jump. And I said, what are you doing, dad? And he jumped over the cords and he fell down on the floor and the nurses come running. And he looks up to me and he's laughing. He said, I didn't do it. I had one shot in this lifetime and I kind of blew it. But I want you to teach other people how to jump. Many, many years later, I devote my life to this. So here's what I want you to do. The way you cement a dream in your heart is you scream the word jump. You let your spirit out and you take this dream and you send it to the angels so they can help you manifest it. I'm going to say three, two, one. I'm going to yell jump. I'm going to yell jump as loud as you've ever imagined. I want you to put your hand on your heart. I'm taking my dream. This is one of my many dreams. I'm putting it here. I'll tell you when this one comes true, but I'm going to yell it as loud as I've ever done. Are you ready to yell with me? Here we go. Three, two, one. my baby wow and wow i feel so blessed right now Mwah. oh forbes we are blessed to have to have you here and to listen to you and to motivate us to all jump and forbes i'm so curious as you know your, your dad looking down and being around you and spur what do you think he'd be the most proud of that i didn't give up when i could have so many times when I cried myself into, my, into a pillow because people put me down, hated on me, told me, who are you? Who do you think you can do? Women should be seen and not heard. I've been through a lot. I've also lost a little boy that I raised. He was murdered. My family was on the cover of the LA Times. I've been through some serious reasons to stop. And I think my dad would be in awe. He, he would have never imagined. And I'll tell you what, Candace, I did just get a gift from God about this. Tomorrow I'm speaking in Miami. The coordinator calls me and she says, hey, uh, I got a guy named Sam here. I don't know if he's a stalker or not. He said he dated you in high school. I graduated high school 47 years ago. I said, Sam, Sam, Sam. <gasps> couldn't be Sam Martinelli. He said, yeah, that's it. I'm like, what? I called him Candace. My dad, when we, it was kind of like a best buy. When I was 15 years old, my dad said, go be nice to him. See if you can get a discount on whatever we were buying. And I'm like, and I, my dad pimped me out. I'm like, okay. Well, he was in school to be a male nurse. And the irony of this story is that he was my dad's nurse for three years in the high school. We didn't really date. He was older than I was, but he was my, my boyfriend in, high, in the hospital for three years. I'm going to see him tomorrow. I haven't seen him in 45 years. I'm going to tell you, I think the jumping thing and the talking about my dad, I think he did hear me. So beautiful. So, so beautiful, Forbes. I see Satch smiling in the background. Oh. 
Oh, incredible, guys. You want to head over to realsummons.com forward slash FR, get in now for this incredible price of $197. You get an entire year of Mastermind. That happens every Wednesday, correct, Forbes? Every Wednesday. Every Wednesday night, we, we give away $1,500 prizes every Wednesday night. I mean, I make it so irresistible to be in that mastermind. You meet celebrities. We had Elaine Lelaine there the other day. We had the guy who created the Ugg boots. We had the guy who created the Pictionary game. I've had some of your guest stars on your stages be part of this from, oh, I had a whole bunch of people that I just love. I mean, Rob Moore was on there the other day. We really... It is a community that I have wanted. And somebody said, why do you do this? I'm like, because it's a party every Wednesday night from 8 to 9.30. And you guys should come. You guys should be my special guest. Actually, next time, let's promote Real Summits in my mastermind. Hello. Awesome. Yeah. I'll tell you what, it's been beautiful. I love the fact that we can see everybody. I've been watching you guys. Obviously, we started this morning with Brian and his talk. And I listened to him. You'd think I would get enough of this, but I haven't. And between Darren and JT Fox, and I popped in to see Les Brown, who I'm on a billboard with. I'm going to be speaking with him in Atlanta next week. Uh, this is just such a kick. I'll see if I can show the picture um, because I did just become a doctor. Come on, Saj. I can, you know, I can check out all your problems. Just kidding. <laughs> I, <got a> doctor. <laughs> I get such a kick out of this. Um, but the biggest kick, and I don't know if you guys know this. So here, this is us in Atlanta on a billboard. That's me and Lass. I know, right? Right over the bank. Wait, there's another billboard. Wow. Hey, check this out. This is a real legitimate billboard that he and I are on. I mean, it's crazy. Isn't that funny? Amazing. We're the bank. We're on the bank. Right. We're speaking and inspiring the next class of doctors that are graduating from this business institute. And uh, and I just I just get to love on this man. I love that you have him as part of your world. And I love the fact that somebody thought that all the work that I did equated to a life. Did you I said, did you see this, by the way? When this happened, I was like, what, 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 what? The president of the United States is there. There he is. I got a medal. I get to wear my medal. Called me Dr. Forbes Riley. Oh, I'm that's like, so cool. I know, right? I wear this. I, I like to wear this because I'm very proud of my kid. <laughs> it's been a lot of fun. And I, I love, God, I love what you guys do. How big is this? Four days of a summit. So many speakers. So much valuable information. I love that we can chat. And I will tell you when I did our VIP today that a third of the room were my students. My students mm -hmm. who they're, be, they're because of you guys, because we've been doing this since January, February of last year. We've created as a team, you are responsible as I am for hundreds of Amazon best-selling books. They went from just eBooks to being like bestsellers. We've mm. had thousands of courses created. Like it's this giant GSD movement and I owe it to you guys. So thank you. Incredible. And what I, you know, I actually picked something up. Maybe it's unfair to say, but I kind of feel that even though people invest to come with you, for you give people a chance that, that, are, that no one else gives them. Like, you know, you see the people that come and succeed with you. Most people written them off even before they've done anything. And I, I look at that and I'm like, because I recognize the faces. I see, we see all these, all these faces and their journeys and so on. And I think, um, you know, I think if you feel that people have written you off and they, you feel that no one thinks that you're ever going to accomplish anything, I think the best place that you can go ahead and uh, prove to yourself, not to anyone else, but just prove to yourself that you are worthy of uh, all the success, you want to head over to realsummons.com forward slash uh, FR and uh, joining that a year worth of mastermind just in itself is um, that works out, guys. That almost that works out to what is that like $19 per month, $18 per month, or whatever. So you're actually spending like what? Like, what's my math there? You're spending like what? Seven, six dollars every week to spend time with Forbes, imagine the return on investment. You make one funnel that goes and makes $10,000. Imagine saying you spent $6 on one um, week being at Forbes and ended up with $10,000. You'll never get that kind of ROI anywhere else in the world. So if you, if you think that it's a lot of money, it's not a lot of money. It's the only, the, mo the most amount of money that you will lose is by not doing this because there's 
thousands, tens of thousands of dollars that are that's on the table, that's there for you to collect. You just need uh, the strategy of how to get it into your pocket. So head over to realsummons.com forward slash FR. You know, Saj, you just said something very important. I have two sides to my, my business. I just did a $10,000 a person coaching for three days. I have a training called Momentum X costs $10,000 per person for three days. And we had a lot of people in that, it was beautiful. But on the other side of my world, people say, well, Forbes, then why would you do a class? Like you said, give away a year coaching, uh, masterminding for $197, six hours of your time, two classes, and you can bring a friend for free. I mean, that's crazy. That means each yeah, of my right. class costs you pennies. Like, And I mm -hmm. said, because I remember what it's like to be that kid who had no money and I waited for someone to help me and a doctor just fixed my nose for free. That was like a $15,000 operation because he believed in me. And I think one of the biggest gifts in my life, and I hope you all are hearing this, and Sad just said it so beautifully, is that if you're somebody who's never done anything, doesn't know they have an idea, doesn't think they're believing, I'm probably your best cheerleader because I have both sides to me. I don't judge, I uplift. And my best stories are when you started from nothing, which is where I came from, and you become a hero, the gap, that distance, that, that I am filled with so much pride and joy. When I get notes from people and all those testimonials, it's something like you changed not only my life, but my kids. I'm taking vacations. I've written books. I'm, I'm respected. Do you know what that does to my soul? And I think at this point in my life, I'm going to I have a big suitcase that I'm taking to heaven with me. And in it is all those thank yous. Cause I'm going to show, Hey God, Got lots of thank yous. Treat me really good. <laughs> <laughs> Incredible. We're going to wrap up now uh, with day number one. So guys, go ahead and put love into the chat. Go ahead and put those hearts, these emojis, put the whoop whoops, put them in the chat for the one and only Forbes Riley. What a phenomenal way to wrap up on day number one on this four day mega Real Success Summit. Forbes, on behalf of everyone on the team, thank you so much for being with us. And also earlier in the VIP room, we look forward to seeing you again soon. I just love you guys so much. Candice, Mama, Sag, at some point, my, my hope, I think this one said, I'd like to hug them in person. So at some point, there's either a ticket one way to South Africa or you're both coming here. Absolutely, Forbes. We'll see you soon. It's very likely either of those could happen. So, so scenario is going to happen. So I'm down for both. I am down for both. I, you know what? I'll tell you real quick. There was this, you have a student. There's someone in your audience who's in my mastermind from GSD and her dream, her jump is to come to my three day live event. Sad. She said that with tears in her eyes to everybody in my mastermind two weeks ago. I said to her, number one, I'm going to give you a $1,500 scholarship to come. And number two, see all those faces in Mastermind? I'm going to ask all of them to pledge to pay for your airline. My PayPal filled up. We're getting her an airline ticket. She's got, I want her to pay a little bit so she's invested in coming yeah. here. But it's her birthday in September, and she's flying from South Africa to Tampa, Florida to be in the room with me. Thank you both.